Hey guys, it is the top of the month again, and I'm gonna be sharing with you my blog income report for the month of August of 2021. I'm excited to share this with you because number one, I haven't created any content because I've been trying to ramp up for work, and so it's been kind of insane, but I wanted to show you, once you uh, basically build your foundation for your vlog, like money is pretty passive, and all you have to do is create one or two vlog posts a month to maintain it. But like I mentioned in previous videos, it takes about eight months after you start your vlog if you're writing consistently and also writing good content that is going to be findable and discoverable by readers using Google or Pinterest or however you want to drive traffic to your site. But mainly on my blogs, the two blogs that I have, which is a food blog and a lifestyle blog, the lifestyle blog has been around for the last decade and then the food blog has been around for about two years. The food blog has about 120 some uh, blog posts on the site and then the um, lifestyle blog has 600 half or even 75% of it is kind of crap. So new strategies I've taken this month is being able to utilize um, broken link checker. I learned this from Julie Blanner's course. Um, go ahead and check out the link below for her course. I absolutely love it. I actually love the community that she has on Facebook by joining the course. So make sure you check that out. Um, I also have my own course um, that is completely free that um, you can learn the things that I'm working on or the strategies that I implement on the blog. So make sure that you check out the link below. It's absolutely free. The only way that I'm actually making money off of this online course is through the affiliate links that I share on only products that I actually love. And so I know how important it is for bloggers to not spend um, all of their money on just trying to figure out what tools to use. And so I'm sharing you guys the tried and true tools and I use a lot of them. Some of them I spent so much money on that I kind of regret and some of them that I loved. And so I'm only gonna share with you guys the ones that I love and also share with you the honest truth on some of them so that you guys are aware of the good, the bads, the pros and the cons on using the free tools versus the paid tools. So for the month of August, it's one of the lower months of the year. I'm hoping that in Q4, I average around $6,000 total um, on both of my blogs combined. Now, like I mentioned, I've been doing this for 10 years and for some of you guys doing it for 10 years as a side hustle and only making six grand is not that much money. I totally get it. I know there's videos of other bloggers who've um, basically been in college and are now making $75,000 a month from their blog. Um, I see that too. I wish I could get to that point, but this is reality and this is how much I've made so far on being able to um, not only stand up this blog before I was married, but also being able to stand it up while I had four kids and also held down a career. So this is all side hustle money. This is all money that I'm using to either fund some fun adventures for my family or buy things that I necessarily wouldn't have bought if I didn't have this extra income. So to be honest, like this income that I'm making right now, I'm either putting back in the business or using it as fun money. I know a lot of you guys are trying to quit your day jobs and uh, be able to do this full time. I totally get that uh, sentiment as well. But to be honest, like I love my career. It's taken me like 15 years to get to where I'm at, where I'm doing paid search and advertising. So I'm really excited about that. Like I'm learning on the job. I'm learning the paid search side versus like the free search side that I'm teaching you guys about. So I really have nothing to complain about and I, I'm not trying to be a braggart by any means, but the way that I got to the role that I'm in today is through blogging. Like I've learned everything on the side. While I do have a, a bachelor's degree in marketing where I graduated in 2005, I've never used that degree for anything. Sure, I've used the foundations of it, but I've really never used the marketing education until about seven months ago when I landed this gig. The way that I landed this gig was partly due to my experience with my blog and the decade that I spent trying to learn all these skills on my own. One of the things I want to make sure that you guys understand is blogging is so much more than the income that it brings but also all the opportunities that it could open up and all the skills that you can learn from it it's not just like blogging but it's marketing it's advertising you're learning all of that by building this little small business and then growing it from there I hope you guys understand why I'm sharing my income report it's not only to inspire you but also to give you tips on how you should think of your blog as you move forward with this small media business that you're thinking about all right so let's dive into the report remember that my blog income is based off of two blogs I also use two big affiliate programs um, that drive most of my affiliate uh, traffic. It's just hundreds of dollars, but it's not that much uh, compared to my ad revenue that I bring in. And then I also from time to time have sponsored posts as well. And then lastly, in the last year, I was able to create another income stream, which is through YouTube videos. Hopefully this channel gets monetized soon. So if you guys don't mind, click on the subscribe button. I will share with you guys like how to monetize your YouTube and all that stuff. So go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell to get notifications the next time I create new videos. So let's hop to the computer. I'm gonna show you my blog income report and then kind of break it down and talk through the different things that go through my mind as I'm sharing with you guys uh, the numbers because these numbers are real. It's taken me a decade to get here. It doesn't have to take you that long. 
Um, I was doing everything wrong. I didn't have anyone guiding me. And so my hope is that my free course that I teach you guys gets you in the right direction. If you sign up for my newsletter down below, um, what you'll get is every Friday, all of the things that I'm working on on my own blogs and sharing it with you guys as I learn it. I break up the newsletter into three different parts. It's the um, things that I'm scrolling on, new strategies that I shouldn't be working on, but um, are just, you know, uh, top of mind for me. And then the second is basically uh, tactics that you can use today for your blog. And the third uh, thing is long-term strategies and my long-term vision of what I want my um, blog to look like. And hopefully that can inspire you guys to think of things that you may want to consider for your blog. So let's hop onto the computer. I'm going to show you my blog income report and walk through the details. All right. So for August of 2021, um, I'm going to go down to the very bottom so you guys can see the total amounts before I go into the details. But here it is, um, my total amount so far this August is $4,674.25. That's a couple hundred dollars more than um, last month, which is really, really exciting. As you can see, my lifestyle blog um, had a little bit more money there. Um, the food blog um, had a little bit more money. And I feel like my traffic on both blogs have dropped. The lifestyle one, I totally get because um, I basically migrated from a multi-site WordPress site to a um, single site. And I know that my links in the URL structure that changed probably impacted that quite a bit. Um, the food blog though, I think is, is because of the summer slump. So with the lifestyle blog, I don't know if it was a summer slump or if it's a URL change, but the food blog definitely was a summer slump or because Google just uh, released their newest algorithm uh, for their core vital updates. And so I think I had an impact on there as well, but I'm a very, that's a very niche food site. And so I'm wondering if it really was the uh, algorithm that might have impacted all the traffic that I was getting. But uh, overall, I still made more money than I did last month. Um, for my lifestyle a YouTube channel, so that channel is all about motherhood and crafting and like cricket machines, um, I made $265 um, this month, which is exciting because that was a channel that I just added uh, this year and now it's growing like crazy. Like I haven't even like posted a video for the last three months and I need to continue creating content. I keep preaching to you guys to continue to create content, but I can't even manage the two blogs that I have. So I know a lot of you guys say, hey, go hire out, go hire out. Well, well with YouTube, you can't really hire out because it's your personality. With my blog, I probably could, but I feel like I'm kind of a um, control freak and I don't want to uh, hire out the actual blog content, maybe Pinterest um, and other social media channels I might hire out, but definitely not the blog content as of right now. So then my affiliate programs, um, Amazon brought me in $287 and then reward style went down to $120. It may be because I've been changing out my links a little bit uh, for um, Amazon links instead of reward style links. The only thing though with affiliate programs is you need to know that like with Amazon, it's like a 24 hour cookie whereas with um, a whereas with reward style it can vary depending on what retailer you're linking to All right so let's hop into the actual details of um, the ad revenue from each of the blogs and so as you can see my lifestyle blog made um, 2300 and then in July 2100 and then in June uh, 2100 so it's fairly consistent these last three months with the food blog it varied and it just seems like you know it went down similar to the um, lifestyle blog in July so I call that the blog Midsummer slump. And if you actually compare the traffic on here, I should show you guys Google Analytics, but I'm just gonna show you what our ad company has tracked. Uh, I had 42,000 page views, and then here for the food blog, I had 55,000 page views. But look at the money, right? Which one made more money? It was a lifestyle blog for less uh, page views, which is pretty interesting. So if you're trying to figure out a niche before you do it because of the money, I want you to make sure that you're going to be uh, willing to write about um, that content for the end of time. So just FYI, like if you're wanting to start a blog and you don't know what niche to um, start in, just make sure that you pick a niche that you absolutely love because you're going to be writing on it. And chances are, if you hate the niche, but you know it brings in a lot of money, you might not want to work on it. And so that's one thing I would want you to consider before starting a blog. All right, here's the breakdown for Amazon affiliate program and the reward style program. So as you can see here, I brought in $282 and you can see that um, the conversion was 5.82. I know that industry standard is about 6%, so that's on par with industry standard. And then here you can see that um, my uh, commissions were $120 and I drove 2,700 clicks. Let's see how many clicks I drove up here. Does it tell me? 4,300. So Amazon had more clicks. And what's really cool about Amazon, which I can't get um, the actual JavaScript to work on my blog, but there's a widget that you can put like um, content after your post. And then Amazon has this native ads widget where uh, people, you know, people who frequent Amazon, uh, whenever Amazon like sees your, um, sees what you like, 
then they can take a cookie and then if you have a JavaScript on a blog, it can like basically recommend you those ads. So they're recommendation ads basically that are personalized to you. So when you go to someone's blog, you see ads that are personalized to you. And so if you add those native ads, which I have done so far um, per blog post, you might see an increase in your income for affiliates because it's almost like they're using retar well, that's what they're doing. They're using retargeting to target customers to buy their product and if they're clicking from your blog, you may commission off of that, but only within the um, 24 hours of them clicking. So that's my tip to you if you're trying to maximize your Amazon affiliate money. And then reward style was a little bit lower than Amazon uh, this month anyway. So then here you can see um, my YouTube channel. So this is the lifestyle YouTube channel that kind of mirrors my blog for it. Um, I have a food blog one, but I'm not uploading as much because like I told you guys, I ghostwrite for my mom uh, for her blog, for her food blog. She sends me pictures via cell phone and then I upload them. Um, I haven't had a chance to go to my mom's house to create videos, to eat all her delicious food. Um, so that's why I haven't uploaded anything there yet. What's weird is that I've uploaded like 15 videos and she already has 68 subscribers. So that's pretty interesting. And there's a lot of comments on it, which is hilarious. But I'm not uh, managing that or maintaining that or even including it in these numbers as well. And Yes, I have a lot of real estate online that I have purchased and that I'm kind of like dabbling in here and there. Um, it's only because I have this entrepreneurial spirit and I love trying new things and um, implementing new strategies. So that's why you hear me talk about these side projects even after I show you some of these multiple projects that I already managed here. So let's talk about YouTube. So YouTube with the lifestyle channel um, brought in $265.97 with 27,000 views. And then this channel, um, the blogging one, brought in 15,000 views and I'm getting 77 subscribers um, per month. And so what I'm hoping is that I can actually monetize this channel. So this is um, September. Um, October and I, I actually told you guys like based on the numbers that I saw like a couple months ago that I'd be monetized by Thanksgiving and so I'm hoping that I'm earlier in the trajectory of being able to monetize which is going to be great I'm hoping that it's gonna be similar uh, revenue but I doubt it will I have a feeling uh, don't quote me on this but I have a feeling if I had to kind of guess the lifestyle blog will actually be getting more money than this channel will because I feel like with the lifestyle channel people are more willing to buy stuff based on like influencer recommendations whereas with blogging it's more about making money saving money and all that stuff and so I have a feeling that the revenue that I bring in for the blogging channel will be a lot less and I'm guessing by month it'll be 50% less so we'll see if um, my estimates are right so there you have it. Those are my total amounts. Again, in one view, you can see a comparison between July and August. And if you're wondering where I am um, storing all this information, it's through Notion. I have a video on Notion if you guys want to check that out. But overall, um, $4,600 isn't bad. So I'm excited to kind of learn new strategies on the paid search side that I can then like use for my blog. New strategies that I'm hoping to implement here in the next year or so is being able to uh, run Google ads to my sites. What I'm trying to figure out is how do I find keywords that won't compete with affiliate programs terms and conditions and be able to uh, basically pay for ads but then not compete with um, the terms and conditions of the affiliate program so that I can make more revenue from the affiliate programs while driving traffic to my site and also making money uh, through ad revenue so I don't know how that's all gonna play I love trying new things I love trying to figure out if a lifestyle blog works better than a food blog works better than a technology blog and so um, I just like to experiment and you know if experimentation only brings me $4,600 a month while I can still keep my day job and just do this on the side I'm all for that. So anyway, um, I feel like with status quo being 4,600, I'm pretty good with that. I'm hoping in Q4, um, it kind of increases to like $6,500. We'll see. Um, I'm trying to get more uh, content up for Christmas and Thanksgiving, and hopefully like it'll give time for Google to rank my content, at least for Christmas and even um, for Valentine's Day, because that's what I'm thinking long-term here. So if I want content in February, I should be thinking like four to six months uh, before that time and creating content that way. And I mentioned also one of the other strategies Strategies that I've done is um, going back to my network attached storage device that's where I keep all of my content for my blog um, I went ahead and organized it by post ID being able to organize all my media files for my blog has opened up my eyes in terms of like how many uh, projects I've done that I haven't written content on and so now that I have an understanding of what content uh, structure ranks what titles rank um, more information on SEO I feel like now I have content that all I need to do is like put words in a structure 
add those images in there and then um, I'm able to satisfy the Google gods so that they can send traffic to my site. The piece that really helped me with organizing my media content was that I have media content so I don't have to create a new project in order to create this blog post. So I'm really excited about that um, because that means that I have custom content like actual content where I did a project and you can see me doing a project that no one else will have and so hopefully that will help me uh, basically rank on Google, drive more traffic to my site and then hopefully be able to get me up to the rankings again like I was before because at my highest with my lifestyle blog I think I was at 60,000 page views a month um, and then right now I feel like um, I'm pretty low uh, in terms of like where I'm at but I'm okay with that for right now because literally I have no time right now with um, soccer, dance, gymnastics, all that starting up. Um, I, I just don't have time and so if I'm cranking out one blog post a month and I'm still making $4,200 I'm totally cool with that. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.